Baker. Yes, it is true that uh, we are in fact uh, the oldest democracy in Southeast Asia and one of the most uh, the oldest democracies in uh, in the entire Asia Asian region. But uh, we have also suffered from uh, the lack of consolidation of democracy, and uh, this is a result of many factors. Uh, of course, every time uh, we have an election, every time uh, I guess in uh, in ANC, I, 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 I say the same thing over and over because uh, we have a tendency to look at elections and to look at politics as simply the battle between good and bad people. No, it's not simply a battle of good versus bad people because it's really a question of good and bad systems no because if you have if you have a good system no even if you have bad leaders the system will take care of itself but if you have a bad system and you have bad leaders then definitely uh, you will have a disaster so uh, the problem with the Philippines is that we have had bad leaders We've had good leaders, but we continue to operate under a bad system. So it's really about the rules of the game. That's why uh, all of these uh, institutional reforms uh, are needed in order to correct uh, the balance of power in this country. From the very beginning, uh, elections in the Philippines, as you have mentioned, has always been a game of the elite, those who have the money and those who have interest in preserving the system. So uh, uh, one of the uh, failures of previous administrations under the EDSA uh, regime since 1986 is that most of these presidents, most of these administrations have focused simply on uh, reforming the economy. But because of, for lack of time or because uh, we have a single term presidency, they always fail in uh, uh, addressing the social equity aspect. And that's the reason why uh, you, you always uh, run into this cycle of electing a president who would focus on economic reforms. Once we get the economy running, they, uh, they lose time in uh, instituting social reforms. And worse, they also do not uh, they're not interested in reforming the political system. And I think these are the two uh, missing links in the, for the future of democracy in this country.